we're in the crawl space here where we have standing water conditions throughout the majority of the central portion of the crawl space. Um, they're above and below the vapor barrier. So you can see it here above the vapor barrier. It's an air puddle of it. Um, it's here. I don't know if that's showing it very well with this video. Uh, if I lift up the vapor barrier, let's see if I can do this. Yeah, you'll notice we have an old vapor barrier and then there's standing water underneath. Only having one vapor barrier is advised because when water intrusion gets in, it actually gets trapped between the vapor barrier layers, layers which makes it take a lot longer to evaporate. Um, can lead to stagnant water conditions within. So portions of the crawl space I can't get to due to standing water conditions. Um, so I'm going to recommend that you have this further evaluated, drained properly by a qualified contractor, installing only one vapor barrier in the crawl space, um, and then have it further inspected. I don't see any major issues uh, while I'm down here looking around um, but there you know like this post for instance here it looks like it's in, in water so they might have some rot at the base of that post um, so there's probably some minor repairs here and there nothing major but I would recommend that you have it further inspected again once all this water is drained out